The Slavic squat, Asian squat, primal squat. I don't really care what you call it. But I like to call it the deep squat. There are three basic things you need to do this skill. Ankle flexion, knee flexion, and hip flexion. When all three of those are combined, you are able to do a deep squat with the heels all the way down on the ground. Pretty much everyone has seen calf raises, but your goal is to get a maximal stretch at the bottom and a maximal flex at the top. But you don't want to stop there because the gastrocnemius, which is the ball of muscle right here, is not the only muscle in your calf. You also have a muscle called your soleus, which you primarily flex when your knee is bent. So you do the same process, but with a bent knee. You can also do it by just piling weight on your knee and doing it like this. You absolutely can progressively overload this like a bodybuilder, but since we're focused on range of motion, I would just recommend 10 reps. One set, super simple. But we're not done yet, we're gonna kick it up a notch with passive stretching. All you have to do is lift your toes up, keep the knees straight, and bring your body close to the wall just like this. Hold that for a full 30 seconds, then rest, then hold it for another set of 30 seconds. But remember, that's just your gastroc, so you're also gonna wanna bend the knee and do the same thing. If you stay consistent, do that one to three times a week for a month. I can't see why you wouldn't have that ankle mobility by the end of that month. Wow, pretty nifty if you ask me. Now the knees are a little bit more complicated because when there's a lot of pressure in the knee, it hurts for some people. So instead of just going into a knee stretch all willy-nilly, I'd recommend doing some strengthening first. If you get a chair just like this, all you have to do is put your foot on top of it and try and get to a maximal bend of the knee without pain and then press out of it. By doing this, you're lightening the load so there's not so much pressure being slammed into your knee the whole time. My preferred method is to do a bunch of reps, like 50 of these reps in a row of just this low intensity movement. But if that's not your style, it's okay to ease into it and to kind of just hold there or even just pulse into it. Do whatever feels best for you. And there's one more thing you can try if your knees are still bothering you. We can do a joint mobilization, but be aware that on the hard floor, it definitely hurts. So maybe do this on a bed, a blanket, a pillow, or something like that. All you have to do is place a towel or just your hand behind the knee joint just like this. Sit back towards your heel, only as far as you can comfortably go, and you should feel a whole bunch of pressure build up in your knee. This should not be painful whatsoever. If it is, please back off the stretch and consider trying something else first. But typically this allows you to gain a little bit of range of motion in your knee if you do have those restrictions. It's your choice to either hold it for 30 seconds or do 30 reps, but just know that 30 reps is pretty exhausting. And last but not least, we have our hip mobility. Again, grab a chair, but this time you're going to be sitting on it, just like so. Widen the legs as much as possible, grow tall, keep the back perfectly flat, so don't let your back round or extend, keep it flat, and just sink forward toward the floor and pause where you feel that stretch. You're gonna feel a significant stretch through your groin, maybe in your glutes, sometimes in your back. All of those places are good places to feel it. If you're comfortable with your back and you don't have back pain, you can also try letting the back relax and sinking deeper into the stretch. Once you get a little bit more advanced, you can grab a weight and do it with a little bit of weight to get a deeper stretch as you go. But that step isn't completely necessary. Treat this one like a normal strength exercise and I recommend three sets of 10 reps. If you treat all those things seriously and do that consistently over time, a deep squat is going to be easy for you sooner rather than later. Stay flexy.